Hello everyone, my name is Maggie Korn and I am a P4 Pharmacy student at the South Carolina College of Pharmacy. I am doing a rotation at the Medicine Mart Pharmacy in West Columbia. Today the topic is going to be selecting the appropriate antihistamine. So first, what are antihistamines? These are agents used for the following symptoms, runny nose, watery eyes, itching, and sneezing. So we have a couple of different types of antihistamines. There's the first generation and the second generation. And in the next couple of slides, I'll go into the details of both of those. But the first generation antihistamines are things like diphenhydramine, which is Benadryl, um, chlorpheniramine, and then brofeniramine, which is Dimetap. The second ones are what are more commonly known, um, Zyrtec, Claritin, Allegra. There is a new one out that's just come to the market. It's called Zyzal, which is levocetirazine. It's an isomer of the Zyrtec, the cetirazine. So let's talk about the differences between the antihistamines. The first generation antihistamines are dosed multiple times a day. They're taken usually every four to six hours. Some side effects that are associated with these would be sedation and impaired cognition and coordination. However, they do have a paradoxical effect that can cause excitation, um, so stimulation and anxiety. They also have anticholinergic effects, which would be dryness of the mouth, nose and eyes. It can cause blurred vision, constipation, and urinary retention. As far as the second generation antihistamines go, they're only dosed once a day, so that's every 24 hours, and you don't really see the side effects as you do with the first generation antihistamines. However, there is an interaction with fexofenadine, which is Allegra and fruit juice, so orange juice, grape juice, any type of those. You need to separate those, um, the dose of the Allegra and the taking a fruit juice by at least two hours. So you can still drink it, you just have to be mindful of when you can drink the fruit juice. So I mentioned when do we take these. So first of all, um, antihistamines are used in colds and allergies. So a cold, let's differentiate the two. A cold would be a sore throat, nasal congestion, runny nose, sneezing, low-grade fever, chills, muscle pain, and cough. It doesn't have to be every one of those symptoms, but a combination of several of them. But then allergies are classified as watery eyes, um, itchy nose, eyes, and throat, repetitive sneezing, nasal congestion, runny nose or watery nose, and then red irritated eyes. So that's how you differentiate between a cold versus an allergy. So when do we use what product? There's no specific set guidelines as far as recommending these products. However, um, there's some basic um, rules that we go by. So allergies are is when we use second generation antihistamines. They're better for long term use because they have a longer duration of action so they're more beneficial um, for people who are experiencing allergy symptoms. However, if you're having a cold, a cold only lasts five to ten days, so to speak. So, First generation antihistamines are better for colds because they have a better short term um, and faster onset of action. So by the time that um, a second generation antihistamine would kick in, you'd already be getting over your cold and it really wouldn't give you much benefit. So that's why we, we recommend first generation antihistamines, the um, diphenhydramine and the chlorpheniramine for a cold. And then the second generation, Zyrtec, Allegra, Claritin for allergies. Um, but then just remember like with the first generation it may cause some sedation. So um, definitely knowing how that affects you before you try to go to work or go out and drive um, is very beneficial. 
So I hope that clears everything up. Thank you so much for participating in this little segment. And um, again, my name is Maggie Korn, and I'm a P4 pharmacy student at the University of South Carolina. Thank you.